You're covered with Able Pest Control. Hi, and welcome to Able University. Today we're going to review something called a pest prevention walkthrough. It's a simple process that helps you look for things in your restaurant or industrial kitchen that may promote pest activity. Pest problems often start with either sanitation issues, which provide pests with food, water, and breeding sites, or structural issues that may allow pests an easy access to your business and a safe place to live while they're there. This video will show you how you can inspect your restaurant or kitchen for sanitation or structural issues that may promote pest problems. This will also provide you with the tools to discourage pests from even attempting to invade your facility. At the end of this presentation, we will supply a handy checklist for you to use in your future pest inspections. It's called the Pest Prevention Walkthrough. Ready to get started? Let's start outside. Pests outside your building, especially rodents and flies, are more likely to get inside. Keeping pest populations down to a minimum outdoors will reduce pest presence indoors. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure the garbage area is clean and free of leaks. All garbage should be bagged. Garbage bags used should be free of any tears. This will prevent odors from spreading and spills from accumulating in the bottom of the bins. Accumulation of garbage spills provide pests with a readily available food source and an excellent breeding site. Ensure bin lids are closed tightly to eliminate a readily available food source for pests. Proper maintenance of the garbage area will greatly reduce the amount of pests, such as houseflies, outside and inside your building. Garbage containers should be kept clean and free of any buildup on the bottom. Don't forget to do a visual inspection of the bins to ensure no moisture or organic buildup is present. Pests are strongly attracted to the odors from garbage. If foliage or bushes are present, trimming them away from your building is a good idea to discourage rodents from hiding there. Bird infestations can pose a serious threat to any establishment. Pest birds are capable of contaminating our food and environment, as well as transmitting diseases to humans. Bird droppings create aesthetic problems when the fecal matter accumulates on the walls, windows, rooftops, and exterior signage of the buildings. Visible presence of bird droppings will tarnish image and reputation of any restaurant. If you see any evidence of birds nesting or living on your building, speak to your ABLE technician about solutions. Worn out door sweeps provide gaps and create an open door for pests such as mice. This is a major factor in preventing pest entry into the establishment. If a door sweep is missing or damaged, make sure to replace it right away. You can purchase door sweeps at a local hardware store or ask your ABLE technician for help. There needs to be a vertical and horizontal seal to prevent insect pests and rodent access. Does the door stay shut? Again, doors with gaps provide an easy access for rodents and insect pests. Also, we often see restaurant staff prop back doors open to provide ventilation. The back door area is the most likely access point for rodents and flies. Make sure everyone knows to not to leave doors open. Inspect vents and pipes coming in and out of the building. These often have gaps that allow rodents easy access in and out. As a quick temporary solution, you may consider filling in the gaps with copper mesh inserts until you can have them properly sealed. If you have an overhead door, make sure the dock brushes are installed and are in good condition to prevent pest entry. The next area you'll want to check is the customer dining area. Make sure it's clean, free of any debris that can attract pests. Spills on the floor will appeal to ants and other common insects inviting them to invade your space. Now let's move to the kitchen. The process is the same as the dining area. Make sure it's clean and free of debris of any kind that would attract pests. When it comes to pests, food debris and buildup in hard to reach places is the number one challenge faced by food service professionals. A regular cleaning schedule is very important. If you have pop machines, you will need to clean the area surrounding the syrup lines and soda fountains frequently. Pop machines have hard to reach areas where syrup builds up unnoticed, creating a perfect place for fruit flies to breed. Clean the drain lines for the pop machines and catch trays regularly. Be on the lookout for bad odors also. Covering it up with an air freshener won't help. That smell is coming from somewhere, somewhere that may be a perfect environment for flies to breed. Locate the source of odor and get it cleaned up. Taking a deeper dive into the kitchen, you'll want to check the areas beneath the kitchen equipment. These areas include deep fryers, pizza ovens, stoves, cold stations, hot stations, dishwashers and the like to ensure it is all clean. Food debris tends to build up along the back wall and collect around equipment footings. Check the dishwasher area to ensure it's clean, dry and free of organic buildup. 
Items should not be stored on the floor as they trap moisture and create ideal pest breeding sites underneath. In most kitchens, you'll find a designated mop sink where the mop is rinsed off after each use. Ensure the mop sink is clean and there is an area to hang and air dry the mop. For storage, the mop pail should be inverted and there should be no food debris or excessive moisture in and around the mop sink. Make sure the grease trap is sealed. A damaged seal in a grease trap can cause a forward fly problem. Organic matter within the grease trap or around the seal creates an ideal breeding site for flies and other pests such as cockroaches and ants. Similar to the soda machine area, the beer tap area needs to be clean and free of spills which could attract fruit flies. Make sure you clean your beer drain lines regularly to avoid fruit fly infestation. Floor drains should be inspected for buildup of organic material within and around the outside of the drain. Regular cleaning is required to prevent this from becoming a small fly breeding site. If you have organic buildup inside the drain that may be a source of a small fly problem in your kitchen, ask your technician about drain foaming programs that eliminate such breeding zones. Regularly inspect washrooms to ensure they're clean, dry and free of odor or debris of any kind. The main areas to inspect in the washroom are the floor drains, toilet base seals, and under the hand sinks. Moisture can collect and provide an attractive breeding site for roaches, small flies, and ants. There are also often access hatches in the washrooms that should be sealed. Pests will travel in the wall voids and enter public areas if not well sealed. Garbage bins and containers are a great breeding site for small flies. Leaky bags leave liquid waste behind in the bottom and often go unnoticed. Make sure these are hosed out and left to dry before putting bags back in them. Start in the dry food storage area. Shelves should be clean and free of loose food or accessible food sources. Open food should be stored in sealed plastic containers. These shelves should also be made from non-wood material. Break out those measuring tapes because shelves in storage rooms should be at least six inches off the ground. After looking down, it's time to look up. That's right, check the ceiling tiles. They should be in place and free of damage. Ceiling tiles are a common entry point for pests, so they need to be secure. If you have old broken ceiling tiles, get them replaced right away. The floor surface should be clean, clear, and free of damage. The floor may be covered with difficult to notice greasy buildup and moisture. Besides being a slipping hazard, it's an excellent food source for insects. Floor tiles need to be secure with all grouting in place. If there's a loose tile, it needs to be repaired immediately. Cracked tiles can store water and organic debris for flies. They can also provide a perfect home for cockroaches. Either way, let's get those broken tiles fixed. Epoxy can be used for quick and smooth floor sealing. Inspect walls for cracks or holes that a pest might fit through. If any gaps are present, repair them or apply silicone caulking to seal them. Cockroaches are sneaky and very resilient. A tiny crack or a small hole in the drywall will suffice as a hiding place for these pests. It's important to inspect areas underneath sinks. This could be a bathroom or a kitchen sink. Drain pipes should be secure and leak free. Ensure there are tight seals around each pipe and no leaks. We often find unfinished holes with rough edges left underneath sinks where cockroaches can live. It's a very common home for pests and it's a great place to hide and a source of water. Lastly, avoid blocking aisles with storage items. Clutter invites pests, especially old cardboard that you might store. Keep everything neat tidy and off the floor. Finally you're ready to do your own pest prevention walkthrough. Grab a copy of this handy form and give it a try. Remember, you don't have to have a pest problem to do this inspection. This walkthrough is designed to prevent pests from becoming a problem. What do they call it? An ounce of prevention? That's important when it comes to pest prevention. If you have any further questions, ask your ABLE technician. You're covered with ABLE pest control.